Greetings Internet! I'm Alex from Barefaced and we have made a resto mod, which is a term from the car world for something that looks old but is modded to be new. The Singer 911s being a great example. They look like 1970s 911s, they're actually built off I think 2000-ish era floor pans but then they put new carbon fibre body shells on, Kevlar and beautiful interiors and high power engines and better suspension and they're very expensive, very long waiting lists, and they look epic and I will never be able to afford one. However, I could afford one of these and not just because I work here. They're not cheap, but they are amazing and they are not completely unaffordable. So this may look like a 610 hiding behind this beautiful cloth grill, but actually it's a monstrous 2x12, just like our big twin three. Now, if you're new here, this is not any 2x12, this is a very special animal. Just like the Big Twin 3, we've got our unique 12XN drivers, which we're comfortable at saying they can take 800 watts each in one of these cabs. So this is a 1600 watt 2x12 and it really will handle that. It's got a very clean, clear, high accuracy, low distortion compression driver. We've got our own unique crossover, which is a fourth order Lynx with Riley crossover that crosses at variable frequency depending on where you set the knob on the back with the woofers. With it all the way off you can get these woofers to run to 10 kilohertz if you crank the highs because the dust cap output runs to there. Otherwise the cones roll off at about 4 kilohertz and they cross over beautifully with this in the few kilohertz region depending on where you've got the, the knob set on the back. This crossover it's got protection so it's essentially impossible to blow the tweeter which is critical when you're doing the sort of things that I'll be doing with this. Um, and as many other people who use them. It's also got constant directivity, horn correction to ensure that the highs spread and fill the room with enough energy. It's quite a complex uh, waveguide. So why is this special? Well, the Big Twin 3 is a really unusual cab in that it's very large for 2x12, but very light. You can see all the specs on our website, we'll pop them up here on the screen. It goes much lower because it is larger. It has these oversized ports that allow it to move huge amounts of air and go very low. It has its unique super cooler thing. It's cross braced endlessly. It's super rigid, super stiff. It's very strong yet very light. So it's made for gigging, but it's made to sound as good as possible. And the super cooler technology actually is almost entirely hidden inside, but you can see a bit of a hint of it in that there's these little ports that look like very thin letter boxes. There's one of those for each of the 12s and that actually acts as another port Helmholtz resonator which essentially sucks cooling air and blows this cooling air over the driver to keep it cool. So you get lower power compression, more power handling, more dynamics, more consistent tone at high level. And we've also got some details in there that deflect the hot air from the motor vent upwards. And the whole cab is designed so that cool air gets sucked in from lower down and warm air escapes from the top. And it just gives you more power handling, more consistent tone throughout the gig. It's fine margins, but at Barefaced, the reason we've managed to make the best base cabs in the world is by fussing around every little detail and looking to see where we can find an advantage. Kind of inspired by, actually when I started Barefaced, I think it was the time that the Olympic cycling team for the UK was start, or GB and NI as they're called, were starting to do so well. And they were talking about marginal gains. And that's that thing, looking at every little detail. Other companies tend to make amps and then make a cab to go underneath it and they go to a speaker company and say, what speaker fits this price? We endlessly fiddle around trying to make the best thing possible. We go to different speaker manufacturers and develop our own really unique drivers that took a huge amount of work and we just can't better them. We keep trying to do something better but it seems to be impossible to make a better high accuracy, high output base driver than the 12XN so then we've looked to see how we can get more out of it and that's looking at thermal management and things like that. So what sets the Big 24 apart from the Big Twin 3 is that it's 24 inches wide, hence the name, so it looks cool under an SVT or other large valve head. It's Tolexed, you could have it painted, but we've made it so it's possible to Tolex without being a complete nightmare because obviously wrapping Tolex into all these joints could end up with a long-term durability issue, which was our point 
with these cabs, we want them to last and look good for decades and decades. Look good, sound good, perform well for decades, which justifies their cost. And by making it like this, then we can have the full width grille, so you can have a cab that looks predominantly symmetrical, which bothers some people, and actually the particular person who kept badgering us and caused us to finally bite the bullet and see if this was possible. I wasn't sure it would, if it would be possible because I didn't want to lose the super cooler technology. So there was a lot to do with thinking about how the warm air escapes out of the cab and making sure that the ports weren't blocked at all by the grill frame because the grill frame would then cause turbulence around the ports and I do see that on other people's designs. They can just not consider these details. So the porting's very well thought out. We've still got the super cooler on the back. Then I had the joy of plugging it in next to this and um, they sound identical which was the goal. You might be looking at it from this video and thinking well why do they sound the same because this is bigger than this but they're not actually. This is a bit deeper front to back and that extra depth makes up for the loss of width essentially. So this has gained width but we've given up depth so it's actually really easy to move. I turn it sideways you can see that it's very shallow back to front. It's exactly the same size as our 610 so if you're someone who wants to have a wet dry rig two different or two different sounds then you can certainly have a 610 and a big 24 and they'll look identical and you'll just have to remember to not get them mixed up because the big 24 does not sound like a 610. So Ian Martin Allison of Scott's Bass Lessons, we've known Ian, I've not met him in person but known him online for years now we seem to be quite kindred spirits when it comes to bass playing and trying to do slightly unusual things. Ian's doing it in lots of different sideman contexts and seems to get hired to do cool stuff with effects and different bass playing and interesting basses. He's got a very cool Mike Lowell signature bass which is a hybrid of a jazz and a Thunderbird which is, looks wicked and they seem to sell out very very fast. Um, I'd like to try one of those. I think it would quite be my thing. Now I don't get the reverse headstock. Ian you'll have to explain that to me. Ian particularly was bothered by the asymmetry of the Big Twin 3. He was like, I can't get over the port being there and this being here and like, okay, I get you. We like how this looks like it means business, but yeah, we're chuffed with this. So we'll cut in some photos of it shown finished with the, uh, the grill on. What I'm now going to do, if I can do it without messing things up, because I haven't had a band practice in a while, because life has been getting in the way, is run through a couple of songs that I do that use a lot of effects. And my normal rig is, two big baby threes stacked on each other basically because it was I thought it'd be useful to have those here as a default thing but two big baby threes sounds essentially the same as a big twin three so it's a cool sound we're running a DI as well we're going through an Aguilar tone hammer that we've got set flat we're running the DI so we can cut between the two so you can compare the DI sound with the cab sound we've got the high frequency driver all the way up and the mic is about five, six feet away from the cab, roughly on axis. That's far enough away that the tweeter and the, the woofers should have, have blended by that point. There obviously will be some sort of room sound because we're in a room, but yeah, I'll stop playing and you can, you can see what you think.
studio, but um, hopefully the sounds were useful. I'm going to bash through another song if I can remember how it goes, and we can chop some bits of that up, and you can hear how the DI and mic sound compare. <laughs> If you're watching this in horror thinking what on earth does your guitarist do whilst you're getting in the way, I don't have a guitarist in the band so it's just bass, vocals, she stands over there, drums, um, so I have a lot of space to fill. Obviously you can use the Big 24 and the Big 23 for conventional bass sounds and conventional bass playing and what you'll get is exactly the sound as near as damn it as you would get through big PA system, I mean really good PA system with subs and everything, or big studio monitors. So that's, that's the goal. I just wanted an epic PA system in a box that I could carry. And what we've done with the Big 24 is taken what we've done with the Big Twin 3, which is our... Big Twin 3, hang on. It's kind of the fourth generation of me attempting to make the perfect high accuracy bass cap. We had the big one, then the original Big Twin, then the Big Twin 2, and then the Big Twin 3. So trying to make this high output, high accuracy bass cab, which is loud enough to hang in a really loud rock band and efficient enough that you can use loads of different heads with it. You don't have to have a two kilowatt rack mount power amp. You can use it with a 300 watt all valve SVT. And I know people say they're really loud. Well, they are really loud if you accept a certain amount of overdrive or have an enormous cab to get the efficiency up, but they're not as powerful as people think they are. Um, or I play too loud, possibly a bit of both. But yeah, that's it, Big 24. It's cool, it's epic. Thank you, Ian, for badgering us and getting us to finally get down to the puzzle. It was really hard to solve. The woodwork inside it is insane, but I'm really chuffed because it sounds so good, it looks so cool, and obviously because it's Tolexed, these, these cabs that have this sort of textured paint finish, really tough, they're black. They only come in black, you can have black steel grills, you can have any variety of cloth grill and you can have coloured baffles behind the black steel grills. With the Big 24 you can have any colour of Tolex that we can get hold of as a customisation, you can have any cloth you want as a customisation. You can still have a steel grill if you want because it fits our 610 steel grill so that's convenient, I've forgotten about that when we were doing it and therefore you could have painted baffles as well so lots of options with it and yeah I hope it is the perfect base cab for some of you out there because that's really what we're about. We're trying to make the best possible products. This is the sort of business, which is owned by me, I started it just over 15 years ago. Actually, I've come around 16 years now. Um, I don't know where the time's going. This is the sort of business that Dragon's Den in the UK, or I believe it's called Shark Tank in the US, they would turn and look at it and go, well, the shareholders won't like this. Yeah, there aren't any shareholders. We're just doing what we love and attempting to turn a profit whilst we're doing it, which is, is not easy, but we're making the best stuff out there. And if you look online and read the feedback from our customers, I don't think anyone gets better feedback, almost in any field, actually. I think we are universally loved. So the challenge is persuading people who don't know we exist that we exist and there's a reason our customers love us this much. So 
thank you for enjoying what we do if you are already a customer because it's uh, kept us doing this and it employs people here in the UK who are actually we're all musicians who make stuff um, including the drummers but this is a thing the big 24 it's out you can have it we have solved a puzzle and that is here what we're trying to do we're solving sonic puzzles what's making things look epic thank you I've been Alex from Bareface and we will be back again tell us what you'd like to hear more of or subscribe or tell other people about this goodbye where's the off button